Right guys, we have some super early information on the M2 series and also the M3 series of Apple Silicon chips. And so let's delve into the tidbits, but first make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just tuck in. Right, so the source of the report are the information. Now, they're a pretty credible source, and so I do think this information is legit. Right, so beginning with the M2 series, this is going to be some pretty minor changes to the already amazing M1 series of chips. So the report claims that the M2 series chips are going to be based on the 5 nanometer plus process. Now this does make sense because of course we do know the M2 chips should be based on the A15 which is also based on this process. And well because of this we do have two dies with these chips which is going to allow for more cores. And well that's exactly what we've heard about with the base M2 chip. This is going to have a 10 core GPU now which is going to be a pretty nice improvement over the 8 core GPU we see on the M1. But the report does specifically mention this is going to benefit the next MacBook Pros and other Mac desktops. And so yes, expect Apple to give us way more cores with the M2 Pro and the M2 Max chips. But now let's move on to the more exciting upgrades and that's regarding the M3 series we should probably see in 2023. Now these chips are going to be based on the 3 nanometer process. Now this is going to allow for better performance and also better efficiency. But more importantly there could be up to 4 dies with these M3 chips and so that means we could see up to 40 CPU cores. Now for comparison the M1 has 8 and the M1 Pro and the M1 Max has 10 CPU cores and so yeah this is going to offer some pretty massive performance upgrades. Now yes I know there were reports regarding production issues making these 3 nanometer chips but the information still believes these should be ready by 2023 and should be going into the iPhones and the Macs. So yes Apple and TSMC are going to easily beat Intel and Qualcomm in the 3 nanometer race. Now the code names for these chips are Ibiza, Lobos and Palma which are pretty interesting terms but either way that should be the M3, the M3 Pro and the M3 Max. Now these chips unlike the M1 series are going to debut with the higher end Macs first. So that's the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros, the iMac Pro and also the higher end Mac Mini. A less powerful M3 should still be on the way for the MacBook Air though. Now for those of you wondering about the Mac Pro, the report does say that it should use a variant of the M1 Max chip and that does make sense because we do know there should be two configurations for the Apple Silicon Mac Pro and that should be either two M1 Max chips or four M1 Max chips which should be offering some insane performance. So yeah there's some pretty early details on the future of Apple Silicon. It's certainly pretty exciting stuff but tell me in the comments below guys if you do plan to buy a Mac very soon which one are you gonna get? Anyways thank you for watching guys make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the link above on details regarding the M1 Max iMac. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya, peeps.